Hi, I'm Pastor Sherry, and this is Faith Support. Someone living today is living at midnight. You're having the worst time of your life. The job market has left you homeless and you're staying at a friend's house right now, or maybe you've lost cherished friendships. Maybe your financial difficulties caused such financial burdens that your marriage took a turn for the worse and you haven't recovered yet. Whatever it is, you're living at midnight. Maybe you've tried to even move to a new country, thinking it would give you a fresh start. But that better life that you were promised just has not materialized. and Life have actually gotten harder without the comfort of friends and family that you know. Everywhere you look, you see strange faces, strange customs, strange foods, strange smells, strange language, strange weather. You wonder why everybody <laughs> encouraged you to leave your home and go to a strange land. It's dark outside, but it can't compare to the darkness inside. You feel unseen, unheard, unknown. You walk around lonely in the crowd. People at school, they see your smile, but they don't know that it's hiding a tear in your heart. You try your best and you still experience failure. You give your best and you still experience rejection. You do your best and yet people easily dismiss you and choose another. And will they accept me? When will someone love me, you question. Paul and Silas, they lived at midnight as well. Falsely accused, publicly beaten, unjustly imprisoned. But it was at their midnight that God positioned them to be sunrise for everybody else. Listen to Acts 16 verse 25. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. It was midnight, but everyone was awake as though it was sunlight. They were beneficial to the prisoners around them. Don't miss this. Paul and Silence, Silas were beneficial to the prisoners around them. They were helpful to people in a hard place because they themselves were in a hard place. They could only bring freedom to captives because they themselves were captives. The hard truth is this. There was a point to Paul and Silas's pain. They were planted in prison on purpose. And that's not something we all want to hear. You know, recently someone told me about feeling really uncomfortable being at their daily job because someone was spreading a rumor about them. I tried my best to understand and to help them process their feelings about the whole thing. And at the time, you know, I thought I did an okay job in empathizing with them. It wasn't until someone, however, started to spread a rumor about me that I was able to better understand some of the feelings the person had been trying to explain, the feelings of shame and loneliness and rejection. And I know right now you want to hear me say that dawn is on the way. And maybe it is. But maybe your pain is someone else's dawn. Friend, mighty things happen right here, right now, right at your midnight. Your life has a powerful impact right now during your midnight. The pain of your childhood has left you sensitive to the pain of others because mighty things happen in your midnight. The suicidal thoughts that you wrestled with as a teenager can help you relate to a teenager today because mighty things happen in your midnight. 
Your anger at injustice causes you to deal fairly with everyone you meet because of your midnight. Your midnight isn't wasted. Your midnight isn't pointless. It, it, it may very well be your positioning to protect the weak and cheer up the bleak. Midnight is where mercy is born. So don't wallow in your midnight. Instead, do what that little song says. Ha! Huh. Do what Paul and Silas did. Brighten the corner where you are. Let us pray. Ah, Jesus. I know that you understand the midnight that some people are experiencing right now, oh God. Dark and lonely days. Painful experiences. And God, sometimes it's easy to keep our eyes focused on everything that's going wrong around us. I pray today, oh God, that this short message would help someone to remember to look to you. Remember to look up. Because no matter where they are, no matter what they're facing, you are with them and there is always purpose, even in pain. Not all things are good, but you are able to work all things together for good. And I pray, oh God, that you will show that person who is experiencing midnight right now, you would show them yourself so that they would see how they can be of service even in their midnight. Bless them with a renewed sense of purpose and help them to know that they are never alone because bright sunlight or darkest midnight you are with them. Thank you for hearing and answering this prayer. I pray it in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, friends.